Hello everyone, welcome to my travel channel. In today's video, we are going hiking in Chino Hill State Park and we will get to see the super bloom of poppy flowers. If you are a nature lover, this video is for you. Chino Hill State Park is a beautiful wilderness area located in the rolling hills of Southern California. It covers over 14,000 acres of land and offers a range of outdoor activities for visitors including hiking, horseback riding, mountain biking, camping, and picnicking. The park is home to a diverse range of plants and animal species. Visitors can explore over 90 miles of trails that wind through the park's rolling hills, canyons, and grassland. With its beautiful natural scenery, diverse wildlife, and numerous recreational opportunities, Chino Hill State Park is a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts and nature lovers alike. The park is known for its stunning landscapes, which include dense woodlands, rugged hills, and sweeping yeah. grassland. Thank you. Visitors can enjoy breathtaking views of the surrounding countryside and get up close to a variety of wildlife, including coyotes, deer, bobcats, and mountain lions. Whether you're an avid hiker, a nature lover, or just looking for a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of city life, Chino Hill State Park is a must-see destination in Southern California. When you arrive at the park, you can either park outside on the street parking or you can go inside the park. If you park on the street parking, you will need to hike uphill on a paved road to get to the gate. But it's free, you don't have to pay anything if you walk to the gate. The hike might take about 10 to 20 minutes depending on your pace. However, if you drive inside, it'll be $10 at the gate. For this hiking trip, me and my friends decided to park inside and start our hike from the inside of the park. As you can see, it is very windy right now and we are at a decently high elevation. The trail that we are on is called the Banridge Trail. We just picked this trail randomly and we are not really sure what trail would have the most flowers. But I do hope that we could have a chance to see a lot of poppy flowers on this trail. The hiking trails here are not so challenging. They are going up and down the hill here and there, but it's not really steep. I have seen children on this trail, so I believe that this trail is children friendly. Okay, here we are getting closer to the towers. From here, we start seeing more and more flowers compared to the rest of the trail earlier. We are also at a very high elevation at this point. 
The view is so beautiful here. Look at the mountain covered in green. Wow, look at this. I am right under the tower. It's a little scary but also interesting at the same time. Look at those power lines crossing over the mountain. There's a lot of flowers down that way. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey, there are some flowers here. Not that much, but pretty. I hope that we can see more flowers with higher density later on. <laughs> yeah, with the with the orange flower. There are also many patches of flowers on the other hill, but if they are off trail, we can always see them from a distance. And if you want to take a picture of them, you need to zoom your camera in. Look at this everyone, we are surrounded by greenery. Have to zoom in. There it is, a big patch of purple and orange flowers. Yay, now you see beautiful here. It's a little windy the higher we climb, but not really cold actually, maybe because we've been hiking a lot. But still bring your jacket just in case, just put it in a backpack. Wow, there are a lot of yellow flowers on this portion of the trail. If I'm not mistaken, this is called the yellow mustard flowers. I don't think they are fully bloomed yet. The beauty of this hiking trail is that you don't always see one kind of flowers. There is always a variety of flowers. Yellow flowers. Well, look at these, beautiful. But remember to stay on the trail and not destroy the plant.
Oh wow, look at that! A big patch of poppy flowers right on the trail. This is so fun everyone, a lot of photographers here. I'm so happy, finally we get to see a big patch of flowers up close. Be careful, don't step on the flowers, don't step on the flowers. This is so peaceful, I'm gonna dream about this in my sleep tonight. This feels so rewarding after a long hike. This is absolutely my motivation to go hiking. For a second I thought I was in Switzerland because the view from here is just like in Switzerland. Everything is covered in green, the hills, the mountains, everything is green. I've never been to Switzerland but I've seen a lot of photos on the internet about Switzerland so I actually know how Switzerland looks like. You know what, it would be even better if there's a lake. So yeah, the only thing that is missing is a body of water in the park. This is like Switzerland. Yeah, this hill looks like Switzerland. <coughs> Wait, are you are we taking selfie here? Yeah. Yes.
Look at the wind shaking the flowers and the grass. Isn't this satisfying to watch? I honestly can stay here all day long. Bye.
Oh, there's no one here now. <laughs> Okay, it's time to continue this adventure. Look at that, someone is flying a kite. We are walking back to the parking lot. So the entire hike was around wow. three hours because we spent like half an hour at the flowers. After the hike, we went to this Vietnamese restaurant nearby and I ordered Bung Bò Way, a Vietnamese spicy beef noodle soup. It's really good. Thank you everyone for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.